key fully loaded. John 16. These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues, yea, the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the Prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us, A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, and because I go to the Father. They said therefore, What is this that he saith, A little while, we cannot tell what he saith. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that I said a little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me? Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned unto joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her hour is come, but as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish, for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world. Again, I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask to thee. By this we believe that thou camest forth from God. Jesus answered them, do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hey, Shalom. <clears throat> All praises to you, Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakwadash. A hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, and all you sincere brothers that's of God um, in this time. 
Um, I got a couple things I just want to run down um, a little bit in this verse. Um, understanding your house shy. And understand, understanding the spirit that he was in and what he was teaching. Uh, the Lord said it was expedient for him to go away. Because after the testator dies then the uh, covenant, it can be a force. That's why you got to understand that the elect have received what they were supposed to receive. And this is the prophecy to be uh, written uh, on our hearts. And all through the, uh, the new covenant, the new Testament, the um, parable and the, the dark sayings of the new heart, it, it is written. It's written in a way where you won't get it. You know, Paul talks about the new heart. The Lord, the Lord talks about the new heart and the Lord talks about leaving. So the prophecy can be fulfilled. That's when the, when the Lord came back after them three days, he said what uh, he, he came back. He said, receive my spirit. And like I've said before, then when he came back, the apostles had that spirit in the book of Acts. And it's all over the book of Acts. They didn't say, hey, receive this new body. Now, the apostles were given a certain spirit that they were in back in them times. And those men that received that spirit, certain of those brothers are here today to receive that spirit. And that's not a spirit of the world. The Lord tells us that the spirit that that's here in these times is to reprove the world in righteousness and in, in judgment. Um, let me start this real quick. Uh, yeah, Shalom to all you false prophets out there and you false brethren um, that don't have a spiritual mind. You know, guys actually think that because they could out carnally think you, they think they're, they think that um, they got it carnally because they could carnally, you know, cook up shit and be of the world. And, you know, I'll, I'll think you carnally. The Lord said the children of the, the children of darkness, I think it's more smarter than the children of light because the children of, of this world, the children of darkness, these, all these carnal motherfuckers. Yeah. They can outsmart you carnally but they're not of the spirit like that okay <laughs> so what that does is that don't leave you with discernment that leaves you um thinking of this world where you don't really have you can't see like that you see it sort of remind you of that guy that was eating that steak on um on the matrix he was eating that steak he said i don't want to remember nothing i don't want to remember nothing a lot of you guys are just like that guy hey the, the scripture tell you um woe who does woe to that man whom the son of uh the lord is betray uh, son of god is betrayed it'd be better for that man that he have not been born and that's why we're at the end of the world, because everybody is betraying your house shy to you saying um, the covenant's not here. You're betraying the Lord until you adding things into the scriptures. Until guys teaching a different doctrine. Guys are so carnal, they don't really think it's a big deal because they're carnal. They don't look at the spiritual side of, of anything. Guys are not looking at the spiritual side of nothing because guys are carnal. They're looking at what's good for the moment, what's best for the moment. They're not looking at what's good for the, our brothers in the long run. What's going to build brothers in the long run? Shit of the world, shit of the flesh, or things of the spirit. Shit of the flesh may satisfy you for that moment, but in the long run after that, what are you going to do after that? That's why, the, that's why the Lord would tell you hereafter, then... After I leave, then this this when these things are going to benefit you because when I leave, 
that's when that spirit can actually go out. And the ones that received that spirit back then, there it's only a few that's going to receive it. It's not a spirit of the world. It doesn't go with the world. John 16 and uh, 7, it says, Nevertheless, I tell you, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. This is what the Lord was saying. Um, the Lord was telling you this. Um, and John, when the Lord had to leave, that's why it's critical. When the Lord came back, he told, uh, he told, uh, Peter to, to, to feed his sheep. He was told him to feed his sheep one, uh, uh, three times. This is about building you up in the Lord. Uh, John 20. And 21 it says And Yahweh shall say unto them Peace be unto you as the Father hath sent me Even so I send you Matter of fact let me start at 20 Matter of fact John 20 and 19 Now this is after the Lord uh, Came back So this is when he came back. So going back to John 16, he said, if I have to leave, the Lord said he has to leave so the comforter can come unto you. So prophecy, prophecy can be fulfilled. So, so things can be fulfilled. John uh, 20 and 19. See, this already happened already. And what you have, you have guys in attempt to to teach to the world that oh it ain't happened or it's not here or this that and the third no it hap it's happening for some of us already it's just not for the world that's why the Lord said I, I pray to keep them don't take them out of the world but I pray just to keep them from the evil so this this don't really have nothing to do with the world like that because uh, people that's of the world they're going to use this for gain in the world. Now, John 20 and 19, then the same day at the evening, being the first of the day of the week, the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled. For the fear of the Jews came. For the fear of the Jews came, Yahweh Shai and stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them, his hands and his side. Then the disciples, then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. See, the Lord came back. And this is this is when that spirit uh, went out. It says, Then said Yahweh shout unto them, Peace be unto you as the fathers have sent me, even so I send you. So the Lord was sending the men out back when he came back off the cross. When he came off the cross and when he came back to life, matter of fact, let's go back to John 16. I got a couple of things I want to read because these things have already happened already. John 16 and seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. So the Lord had to die. Matter of fact, let's go to Hebrews real quick and then go back to John. Let's go back to John. There's certain things that you have to uh, understand. Uh, Hebrews 9 and 13, it says, For if the blood of the bulls if the blood of the bulls and the goats and of the goats 
and of the ashes of the elf helper, helper sprinkling the unclean, sanctified and pure the flesh, how much more shall the blood of the anointed who through or the eternal spirit offer himself without spot unto God, without spot unto the uh, power, purging your conscience from dead works to serve the Lord, to serve the living power. So when the Lord gave himself that purge the ones that were of God of their sins to give them that new mind and that new heart. And this was the spirit that went out back then. That's why the Lord tells you in the book of Acts, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Ghost comes up on you. Right. It's a ghost. So like if you're in the, in the Holy Ghost, you're not really in the world like that. <laughs> it's like you're not really there. All you motherfuckers that, that, that your whole thing is being exalted. That's not of God. So the Lord, when he died, going back to John 21, and then when he came back, um, I'm going to read it. He told them to what? To receive his spirit. Going back to John 20, and I'm going to go back to uh, Hebrews. John 20 and 21, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Peace be unto you, as my father hath sent me, even so I send you. He was sending them out. And he said this, and breathed on them, and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. So the Lord gave us the power to uh, let men's sins be weighed on them. And he gave us the power to pull men's sins off of them. And in this time too, if you can't repent, then that means your sins are going to remain. That's why a lot of guys that really don't see what's going on, um, they say it still remain. I forgot what what uh, what what scripture that was when he said, because guys say that they see, they st they sin still remain, and really guys can't really see like that. They say that they can see, but they really can't see. So guys' sins are remaining in these last days. That's why it's important to repent. So guys scoffing at the idea that brothers is repenting then that shows where's your fucking mind at so going back to hebrews 9 so the lord said receive ye the spirit and this this only pertains to the ones uh going to the book of acts to his disciples to peter Now it says, uh, he, uh, Hebrews 9 and 15, and for this cause, he is a mediator of a new Testament by this means of death for the redemption of the transgression that were under the first Testament that which are called might receive the promise of an eternal heritage. Let me read that again. It says they, which are called might receive the promise of the eternal heritage. So certain brothers have received the promise of the internal heritage. That they which are called might receive the promise of eternal heritage. Certain men were chosen to receive the promise of the internal heritage. It says, it says, for where a testament is, there must be also the necessity, the death of the testator. That's why the Lord said that he must go away. So he went away and he came back. And when the Lord died and he came back, he came back on a whole nother level. Everything was given unto the son. All power was given unto the son. Matter of fact, let's read that in um, right here. Let's read that right here. 
Matthew 28 and 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Let me read that again. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So when the Lord died, he did what he was supposed to do. And certain brothers that was supposed to receive the internal inheritance received it back then. It's not hard. Now we're coming back to who we are now. It's just that a lot of guys are not really of it like that. And the ones that are set up on these high seats, you know, like 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 these guys that have been teaching, these elders and all that. Yeah, they were set up for this world to give you the illusion that they were of the Lord. But to be truly of the Lord is to actually understand Yahweh Shai and the new covenant and what he really did. And understanding the spirit that went out back then was that spirit of having that new heart and that new mind. That's why Paul said that the law is written on our hearts. It ain't written on stone anymore. It's written in men. So now you have all types of false prophets and false brethren that are out there that still had a heart of stone. They still have stony hearts. But what are they doing? They're exalting themselves because that heart of stone, that's of the flesh. That's of the world. So guys have to exalt themselves. You have to. But the ones of the spirit, they're not of this world. So it's actually heavy. To really understand um, the Lord. Hebrews 9 and 15 again, it says, And for this cause, he is the mediator of a new testament, which means by, it says that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgression of sins that were under the first testament, that which are called it says they which are called might receive the promise of in, the internal inheritance for a testament is is it says for where a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator that's why in john 16 he said that i must go away and the lord told you um What's that in um, John? John. Um, let's see, let's go. Right, so it's heavy because the Lord had to, he had to die. So by the death, so by the death of the testator, uh, that's when the um, the will of the of, of the Lord, it came into play. That's why the first book of Acts, it tells you, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. But guys don't understand that because they're carnal. So they're looking at power is something of this world, something you could see. But what the Lord was giving you power of, he was giving you power of, of the spirit to actually be able to see and to discern. That's why the Lord said, don't rejoice because you have power of the spirits, but rejoice because you have your name is written in heaven. And, and it's nothing of this world like that. And the, the ones that are of this world, they have to be seen. They have to be exalted because of the old, that's just of the flesh. The spirit, the, the, the ones that are of the new, that's of the spirit, that's of the new heart. But they're not of this world. So the Lord will keep you out of the world. Let me read this real quick.
John 14, I'm going to read this real quick. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray that the Father, John 14 and 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. So some men were predestined to abide with the comforter forever. That's why the scriptures say forever they was perfected because some men were given the comforter to abide with them forever. And it start going out back in those times. That's why the Lord told them to receive his spirit and it carried over to the first book of Acts and they were doing all these miracles. And all power has been given unto uh, Yahweh Shai to his father. So for guys to belittle that and to really look down on that like that didn't happen and they're waiting on that to happen, that just make you guys even more reprobate in these fucking groups. So out of all the things that the Lord was teaching in the Gospels and that the apostles was teaching in the Gospels, not one goddamn time were they going into women like that. I'm gonna say this, man. That shit about this, all this shit about women at the last minute. That's that's a satanic carnal attempt to try to weaken our people to have their mind somewhere else. The focus is Yahweh Shai. The power of Yahweh Shai went out back in them times. The death of the testator. The covenant became a force after the Lord died. To, to show you the example of the, how much of the force that the uh that the spirit was in the new covenant was back in them times look at the book of acts look at the book of acts and that spirit is back today and the flesh have no power over the spirit but a lot of guys are being taken over by the spirit of the flesh you see that Guys are showing you that they're being taken over by the flesh. They're not overcoming the flesh. The, the world is overcoming their ass. So by, by how guys are walking, they're showing you who they are. You can't make this up. Guys go into the flesh like that because they're of the flesh. Going into the flesh, that don't make you overcome the world. John 14 and 16. I pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Look at that. And the scriptures say that, that they have perfected forever. Certain men were perfected forever. You guys downplaying it. Because all you guys are carnal. So you don't have that understanding. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because they see if him not neither know of him. You see that? So when you go into this word see, it goes into understanding. Neither know of him. So they don't know God like that. That's why guys are so fucking carnal and they're falling to the flesh. <laughs> What kind of man if you if you 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 choose the flesh over the Lord? What kind of man are you? That's not a man of the Lord. It's a goddamn flunky. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him. See, here it is again. There's a big difference again. See, everybody don't know the Lord. Guys, it's of the world. They think it's okay to talk about shit of the flesh. They think it's okay to talk about Esau. They don't see a big deal in it. Why? Because they're carnal. That's why they don't really see a big deal. In it. Oh, it don't matter. We can talk about that. Well, did the Lord talk about that? Did the Lord talk about that shit you guys are talking? Hell no. And it don't matter to you guys because you're of the flesh. That's why it don't matter to you. 
It's not a big deal to you. Man, it is really heavy, bro. John 14 and 16, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. There it is again. So let's go back to uh, Hebrews 9 and 15. It says, for this cause, he is a mediator of a new testament that by the means of death for the redemption and the transgression that were under the first testament. That which they are called might receive the promise of the internal inheritance. So the Lord said, I send you a comforter that you might abide with forever. Matter of fact, let me let me see. Let me read that real quick. <sighs> Heavy man. Hebrews 10 and 9. Then said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O power. He taketh away the first that he may establish the second. Let me read that again. Then said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O power. He taketh away the first that he may establish the second. So the new covenant was established way back then. I'm showing you the crucial point when it was established. From the end of John to the beginning of the book of Acts. That's when the new covenant started going out. And the book of Hebrews explains the whole spiritual agreement. Guys don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. The brother broke that down uh, beautifully. The book of Hebrews was written by Timothy's. One of Paul's understudies. So technically, it was it was it was given to Timothy through Paul. So Paul technically, you know, he was he was there in the spirit. It was the spirit in the words of Paul. But but Timothy wrote it. It tells you that. That's why it's like you guys talking about your ministers of the new covenant, and you don't even understand it. A lot of you guys really don't have that understanding like that. So the Lord says certain men that he had perfected forever. You see. Hebrews 10 and 14 for by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. For by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. For of the Holy Ghost also is a witness unto us after that he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make it with them after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their inward parts. And in their minds, I will write them. And you guys downplaying that. Because the secret about this whole thing is that the Lord didn't write them in everybody. Let's go. Let's go back to John 14 again. Let's go back to John 14 again. John 14, 15, 16 is very heavy. John 16, the Lord said that he must go away. So so prophecy can, can be fulfilled. So that spirit can go out. It went out. It went out back then. And a lot of men had to die back in them times. That's why the Lord said, them that are raised up in this time in the book of Revelations that was raised up in the uh, first resurrection, they, won't, they will escape the second death. Heavy, man. Now check this out. John 14 and 16, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter. That he that may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. So now these scriptures come out even more powerful now. They speak even more louder. It says, uh, 
whom the world cannot receive because they receive him not, neither know of him, but ye know him, but you know him, but we know him. I know him. Not the world. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you yet a little while. While the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live and ye shall live also. Woo! Let's go back. You guys don't understand the Gospels because it ain't given unto you. It's not given unto you guys. Unto them it was given. Hebrews 9. And um, 16, it says, for where a testament is, there also must be, there must also of the necessity be the death of the testator. For the testament is of a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. So you go back to John 16. Nevertheless, I tell John 16, 7, now that nevertheless, I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. <sighs> and with that, a shalom, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is within us few. The new covenant started back 3,000 years ago and we're being raised in the spirit not of the world hey Shalom